You have to ask me, I'll consider it, and maybe I'll stop for this activity. But you must be very careful because some of the inhabitants do not like to be photographed by the foreigners. Come on, <laughs> don't be afraid. Do something, play the hit money. Today in the Kabari, more than 50,000 people from every different nationality. Friends, Arabs, Moors, English. Yes, you have to stay all, all the time with me, no? Now, if you will stay together, come, come, come closer to me, I'll take you to the narrow streets, to the winding and twisting alleys of the Kasbah. Watch this, please. My friend, where can I find Inez's tobacco shop? To the right. What do you say, my friend? Inez's tobacco shop. Never heard of it. Are you a guide? Are you a tourist? Wait, ladies and gentlemen, please don't go alone. Jo uh, wait, 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 now, ladies and gentlemen, here you see a typical Moorish cafe. In this cafe, they do not serve the liqueur because it is written. One drink, you're a lion, two drinks, you're a monkey, and after that, <laughs> you're a pig. <laughs> oh, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, in a Moorish hey, cafe... How about it? What? Where can I find Inez's tobacco shop? Excuse me, what for? I'm looking for Pepe Lomoco. Dear friends, so are half of the police of the world. Follow me, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'll show you very interesting things in the Kasbah. We fail to understand why you have not yet arrested this man. We do not want excuses. We want Pepe Lamoco. If this task is too difficult, come back to Paris, Monsieur Louvain. You can always direct traffic for us. My head is on the chopping block. Paris expects action. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The next time you come in here, put on your jacket. Who do you think you are, the janitor? No, sir. It's fantastic. We must have more discipline. That's why I was sent here, and that's what I intend to get. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Since I came here three months ago, there has been an outrageous increase in the number of crimes involving theft. It's always been that way. Money and jewels taken from rich tourists. Over a hundred complaints. One hundred and twenty-eight, to be exact. And where does it all go to, Inspector? It all goes into the Caspar, every bit of it. And who would you say was responsible? Happy Lamoco. The Caspar district is your assignment, Inspector. That's correct, sir. It has been for many years. Have you been there lately? Mm, I just came from there. Looking for someone? No, I had lunch. Lunch? With whom? Happy Lamoco. Oh. How was it? Oh, a little too spicy. I don't like that kind of food, but uh, Pepe likes it. 
Tell me, Inspector, has it occurred to you, since you're a policeman and Pepe Lamoco is a notorious criminal, that perhaps you might have arrested him? It has never left my mind. Fine. Then we're making some progress. Within another few months, they should be having dinner together. <laughs> and why didn't you arrest him? That's very simple. It's easy to arrest him. But how do I get him out of the castle? It's almost impossible. Impossible, huh? I'll have him out of there within the next 24 hours. Oh, mind telling me how? I have 1,100 policemen. And he has 50,000 bodyguards. Everybody in the Casper is his friend. You call, sir. Yes. 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 Bad, huh? Yes. Here's another one for your book, Slimane. The American consul was preparing a banquet for tonight. It had to be postponed. All the silverware has been stolen. Prepare for a raid. I want two squads of picked men. I think you're wasting your time. I shall lead this personally. Well, what are you waiting for? Yes, sir. You'd better come along too, Slimane. Oh, Perhaps you may learn oh, something. No, thank you very much. What do you mean, no thank you very much? Look, Monsieur Louvain, you're a big man. You can afford to make mistakes, but I am... You're a little man who's made too many. You're suspended. All right. I just hope you're still here when I come back and not somewhere in Paris. Directing traffic. Slimane, how long did it take you to achieve your present rank of inspector? Twelve years. And what was your rank before that? Sergeant. Inspector, it's been a pleasure talking to you. You may go now, Sergeant. Send in Monsieur Morrissey. Yes, Commissioner. Come in. This is Carlo Fer... This is Carlo Ferron. We brought him here from Paris to pay a visit to Lamoco. This is one friend of Pepe Lamoco's he won't forget. Is there anything else you want that you haven't already taken? What else do you offer? For you, the door. I'm looking for Pepe Lamoco. That's nice. Who isn't? I have a good friend of his. I just arrived from Paris. You must have heard him speak of me. My name is Carlo. Carlo Ferron. If you're such a good friend of his, go and find him. Well, look, we spent two years together at the Metropole in Paris. I don't mean the hotel, I mean the jail. All right. Wait here. ever so since the world began woman was made for man where is she where is she where is the woman for me find the one Good morning, Good morning. find the one then together you will find the sun for every heart there's a moment for every hand a glove and for every woman a man to love Where is she? Where is she? Where is the one for me? Peppy, could you come inside for a minute? We're having a bit of a problem. Now will you marry me? Oh, stop it, Peppy! Oh, no, get off. 
What's your problem, Max? Look, Peppy, we have in our possession one of the finest sets of silver I've ever seen. And this here gentleman is one of the biggest purchasers of this kind of merchandise in the whole of Algiers. Tell Mr. Moko your name. Uh, uh, tell him. Tell My him. name is Anton Duval. I was misled. Brought here under false pretense. Shut up. We offered him the sole honor of purchasing these beautiful pieces for a very modest sum, Peppy. And he refuses. I do. I refuse. Shut up. I won't touch the stuff. Sit down, my friend. Relax. Sit down. Now tell me, why don't you want to buy this merchandise from these gentlemen? How can I? I myself sold it to the American consul. But you can sell it to someone else. What kind of a businessman are you? I'm anyway? an honest man. Sure. And that's stolen goods. Yeah, sure. Here, take this money and let me go. Now, my dear sir, can't you understand? We're not here to rob you. We're here to do business with you, fair and square. Then you won't have any complaints to the law when you leave. No complaints. I won't breathe a word. I promise. Please let me go. I have never committed a dishonest act in all my life. What'd you say your name was? Duval. Duval. Anton Duval. You have a twin brother? Why, no. You know, Maurice, many years ago in Paris, there was a man, a bad little man, looked just like him. Uh, George the Fence, they called him. <laughs> That's funny. You know, people always say, I, I look like someone else. <laughs> One day he ran away. Everybody was looking for him. The police. His wife, even me. You see, he owed me 8,000 francs for a necklace job. <laughs> All right. Somebody is going to have to buy the silverware. That's right. I could always feel I was forced to do it. Pardon me. Thank you. <laughs> you know, it's remarkable. You look just like him. Only George was bald. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, George. Goodbye, Peppy. <laughs> I'll send you the 8,000 francs. Right, wait a minute, your hat. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Peppy. <laughs> so I'm worried. Well, Max, did you want me to get my share? Goodbye, Peppy. Goodbye, fellas, and don't retire. <laughs> Inez! What's the matter? What are you laughing about? Nothing, just a joke. Peppy, some clown just walked into my shop. Who cares? I don't like his looks. Well, then throw him out. <laughs> Peppy, listen. I'm listening. He said he was your friend. He's a liar. Who's a liar? Carl. <laughs> Peppy, how are you? Carlo, you broke up. Yeah, the Metropole, the, the Metropole, five, five years, years ago. ago. Bread and water, bread and water, bread and water, water making eyes to the Lord's daughter. This is Carlo. This is Carlo, my friend from Paris. Why don't you tell me he was here? He didn't act like a friend. Hey, sure protect you around here, Peppy. Yeah. How about a little kiss for Carlo? Huh? No, no, she's my girl. Uh -huh. well, go on down to the shop and get out the best wine. We're going to celebrate. We have a party for Paris, for Carlo, and you. All right, Peppy. Got a match? Congratulations. Hmm? Hey, you just made sergeant. Had a cigarette? Was it on account of me, Slaman? No, no, no. Don't let that worry you, Peppy. I'll still be around, you know. Good. I don't know what I'd do without you. Why? Of all the sights in the cosmos, Slaman, you know what I like the best? No. That ugly face of yours. I'm glad you like it. I don't. It's the only bright spot in the cosmos. If that's your only bright spot, Peppy, I'm afraid you're in trouble. I am? Yes, it means you're getting tired of the Casper. You think I'll leave? Yes, I think you will. And when that happens, Peppy... Coffee. Why should I leave? Oh, because it's a prison. And it's not for five years, it's not for ten, it's for life. It's an awfully long time, Peppy. I have everything I want here. Huh? Everything? Sure. What else could I want? I don't know, change of scenery, maybe. A little excitement, travel, you know, night in Monte Carlo or in Paris. Freedom, maybe. You look tired, Slamane. Hmm? You need a long vacation. A long rest. Can't. 
I've got an idea. It's working in here and it doesn't let me rest. What is it? You. <laughs> Monsieur? Mr. Lemay? shouting your name all over the place. Now, it's all right with you here where nobody can touch you, but I have to go in and get out of the Casper every day. I know you have to be careful, yeah. but not of Carlo. No, no, no. Stop it. I, I mean, it's... <laughs> Here's the money from the last hall. I got rid of everything. You're quite a man. Oh, right? except this here. The old idiot, he didn't want to take it. He said it doesn't work. Well, it doesn't. If you want... You can throw it away. Oh, thank you. I'll throw it away <laughs> later. Uh... Have a drink. Oh, Pepe, I forgot to tell you. I have a party. Oh, did? So? Four. Two men and two women. They came on a yacht. Pepe, such a yacht. Well? Don't you understand? One of the men has nothing but money, and one of the women is covered with diamonds. Such diamonds. Be right back. Pepe, my fingers are itching for work. Stay here. This is your party. If you don't mind, I'd like to go. I do mind. He's going to a dance. to walk through the Cosmo this late wearing all those diamonds. Are there thieves in the Cosmo? Yes, big thieves. What would you suggest? I suggest you be careful. Well, things are beginning to pick up around here. Won't you sit down and tell us more? May I? Why not? I didn't invite you. 
thanks. My husband, Pierre Leclerc, Monsieur Durand, Mademoiselle Trenel. Mademoiselle? Mademoiselle, Monsieur Durand is my fiancé. Would your fiancé mind if I asked you to dance? Yes, who are you? She's part of the local color. That's not being polite, Claude. I'd like very much to dance with this gentleman. So possessive? Who? Boyfriend. You just annoy him. You? Anything for a little amusement. It's Claude. He's got lots of money, huh? Yes. You don't get any bright ideas. Why not? You wouldn't get very far. You did all right, didn't you? Did you live here in the Casper? Yeah. Do people like each other in the Casper? Very much. Sometimes they even get married. Yeah, big weddings. Good. I am going to marry Monsieur Durand. See how simple it is? I understand. It's love. Just a case of pure love. You understand things so well. We're both after the same thing. I'll admit my method's a little different than yours. I don't have as much to work with as you do. You are no longer amusing. This isn't a circus, mademoiselle. I'm not here to amuse you. Shall we go back to the table now? Keep playing. Does everyone here take orders from you? Let's say they just like to cooperate. Let's say they do, but I don't. Don't be foolish, mademoiselle. You're a long way from home. They can't be that stupid. Oh, but they are, sir. They're very stupid. I know. I'm one of them. <laughs> Permit me, Inspector Slimane. How do you do? Shall we go, Gabby? Why don't we stay, Claude? It's exciting. I like it. But I thought Have you... Have you seen a gambling room? The gambling room? Oh, it's beautiful. Just like Monte Carlo. Shemar That's right, Claude. and everything. All right. I feel lucky. That's the time to try it, sir. We're going to stay in gambling. Oh, madame, if you'd rather oh, see the finish of the dance, I'll be very happy to yes. see you. Yes. Go ahead, Claude. I'll be right along. Well, she'll be perfectly safe with me, don't you think so, sir? All right. I'll put a bet down for you. Good luck, monsieur. I have a wonderful system. Shall we have a drink in the meantime? Thank you. 
only your first. That's already my... What's the name? Got a match? You see, it didn't take him very long. Give these back to your boss. Hmm? You mind if I keep them? What for? For you. Shall we finish our dance? What'd he say? He likes you. What else? Nothing. Just who you are. Did he tell you what I do? No. But he told me why you couldn't leave the Casbah. Where are your friends? The gambling room. Don't you gamble? Only if I win. For every man, there's a woman. For every life, there's a plan. And wise men know it was ever so since the world began. Woman was made for man. Where is she? Where is the woman for me? For every prince, there's a princess. For every Joe, there's a Joe. And if you wait, you will meet the maid born for you alone. Happy to be your own. Where is she? Where is the woman for me? Find the one, find the one. Then together you will find the sun. For every heart there's a moment. For every hand a glove, and for every woman a man to love. Where is she? There's a terrace where we can really see the Kasbah. I don't think my friends would understand. What if they don't? They're waiting for me. Let me go. They don't count here. Please. Please. Here. Take this. It's very expensive, really, it is. What's it worth? Oh, I don't know. 50,000 francs. 50,000 francs? It's a lot of money. All for love. Pure, pure love. Didn't you tell me we'd be met with goats and garbage? Garbage? <laughs> That's uh, new. I never heard of that before. Uh, I'll get Pepe Lamoco out of there. You will? Yes, if it's the last thing I do. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, maybe. Uh, Your medicine, sir. No, no, no. You still think I ought to leave the job to you? Mm-hmm. You intend to deliver Lamoco, eh? Mm-hmm. When, Sergeant? Inspector. When, Inspector? Soon. How soon? Oh, in a few days. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning for a swim. It's warm. Good morning. Sleep well? Yes, thank you. Did you find your vanity case? 
No, Claude. I guess I did leave it in that place last night. I'm sorry. Solid gold with four diamonds. If Pierre had given me anything like that, we never would have gotten married. Why do you say that? I would have dropped dead. <laughs> I've heard people don't lose things by accident. What are you driving at, Claude? Well, you're a smart girl, Gabby. Oh. The handsome thief forces his attentions on me. Whereupon I fall in love with him and forget my gold vanity case to show that I don't want to leave. Is that it? You're way ahead of me, Gabby. If you don't trust me to handle such matters, please say so. Don't try to be subtle. It doesn't become you. Of course I trust you, Gabby. I'd be a fool not to, wouldn't I? When do we sail out of here? Anytime you say. Tomorrow, then? Will that make you feel sure of me? Seems to me you're the one that's not sure. Oh, the inspector. Hello. I'm sorry to intrude. Good morning. Oh, Good morning. this is beautiful. Madame? What are you doing here, Inspector? Oh, uh, you remember this? I'm sure you missed it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wasn't it nice of him to bring this? Where did you find it? I didn't find it. A friend of mine did. Pepe Lamoco. Oh? Would you like a drink? Yes, please. He would have liked to bring it to himself, but unfortunately, he finds himself unable to leave the Casper. A petty criminal with romantic notions, hmm? He's not a petty criminal. Well, a thief, then. Yes, but not petty. He's a... He's a very remarkable thief. You see, Inspector, Monsieur Durand is a scrupulously honest man. He didn't make all his money on the black market. Just most of it. Thank you, Gabby. In my opinion, any man that steals for a living is a fool. That's right. You once stole something, darling, remember? Oh? Uh -huh. Boyish prank. Police caught you the next day. You couldn't elude a blind bat. I don't know what is so remarkable about Pepe, but... Uh, Yes, he's a thief, he, he's charming, he's romantic, but uh, there's more to it than that. Oh, that's enough for me. See, if Pepe wants something, he, he's willing to risk much more than anybody else I know. Oh, really? Well, for, for a few diamonds, he lost his freedom, and, and for love, I think he'd give up his life. Then how is it he's still alive, Inspector? That I don't know. Maybe he's never met the right woman. <laughs> I'll see you all tonight at the festival. Festival? No, we're sailing tomorrow early. Oh, no, please, you can't miss that. It's only once a year. The most wonderful dancers and musicians will perform for it's you. So last night here, Claude. I don't see any harm in going, do oh, you? Oh, please, you should. Please, miss. Claude. All right. If the inspector will guide us so that we don't lose any more vanity cases. It'll be a great pleasure, sir, and I assure you, you won't regret it, madame. See you tonight at the Place de la Gira. Madame? Bye. No, I, I told you I have no... Hello, Pepe. So you know something? This isn't very far. <laughs> A few more steps and you'll be outside. You don't want to get me that easy, do you, Slamane? Why not? When do you want me to leave? Today? No, tomorrow will be fine. I'm disappointed in you. Why? You give up so easy. Yeah. Got a cigarette, Pepe? You know about last night, what I... What about last night? About that raid, I, I want to apologize. Well, what can you expect from the police? That's the best they can do. It'd be better off living outside. Downtown at the hotel. Sure, you're absolutely right, except uh, you don't want to live outside. You've got everything you want right here. That's what you said. Good morning. Everything. <laughs> Relax, Lamaine. It was just a thought. Early morning headache, you know. Oh, I know how that is. Still about uh, last night. You know, it was very exciting, especially that uh, that lady. What's her name? Mademoiselle uh, Trinot. Mademoiselle who? You know, the... The one whose bracelet you refuse to take. <laughs> I admit she is beautiful. Mm. Beautiful woman. Beautiful bracelet. Bra oh, pardon me, I forgot. Attractive women, that's nothing new to you. Oh, there's something new in every woman. In your interest? I'll risk a little trouble for her. I know you weren't. Not enough to make you happy. Oh, perfect. But you have to admit, she, she has something unusual. She's got... She's got a yearning for adventure, for excitement. Uh, Who had it? Yes, it's a shame, that, that silly man. He'll make her very unhappy. He's a playboy. He, he, he's too tired to appreciate her. She's got everything she wants. How would she know? I tell you, she's never been in love, never. Slamane, I can't believe it. What? 
You playing Cupid. Well, you would make a nice couple. What'd you tell her about? Hmm? What could I tell her? Was she shocked at my past? No. Oh, dear, she was a little uh, appalled at your future, but uh, don't worry, I fixed it. I told her. Good lawyer, you'll get off for 20 years. Do you think I'd leave the Cosba for any woman? No. Not for any woman. I was at Odette's last night. Well? Not me, Peppy. I was drunk. Too drunk to move, you know that. Max! Me? A Judas? He left the party to my own. I'm so happy to see you. That raise, I couldn't sleep all night. My heart is still pounding. What are you so nervous about? I don't talk to you. You knew Peppy was going to Odette's before anybody else did. What is he? All I know is that the rake came the same night he showed up. Say the word, Pepe. I'll cut his throat. Yes. Pepe, you know, for you I risk my life. But by the honor of my family, I wouldn't take anything from this two-faced swindle. <laughs> Look at his shirt. Striped silk. That's enough, Omar. Let him alone. Now get out. Go on. Get out. All of you. Go on. You too. 
I wouldn't trust any of them, Peppy. Especially Omar. Sit down. Peppy. Give me a drink. Peppy, I didn't mean to. I said get me a drink. Gotta get out of here. You don't know what you're saying, Peppy. The dirt and the noise. Day in and day out, I'm getting fed up. Sure, I know. But you're not going anywhere. Thought you were my friend. I am. I'd do anything for you, Peppy. You know that. I gotta leave. Be sensible. You said you'd do anything for me. You can't leave. You know what would happen to you if you did? You'd get to Paris by plane in six hours. You're crazy. Are you with me? You'll never make it. Are you with me? Anything you say, Peppy? Peppy? The festival starts tonight. Hundreds of people have gone in and out of the Kasbah. The police will be kept busy. We'll leave then. Peppy? See you later. Peppy? Dressed up. You like it? Yeah, very much. You know, Inez, I. Uh... You're still angry with me. No, no. <laughs> you know, I was jealous of that woman. Yes, I know. That silly woman with all the diamonds. I suppose she thought you were really interested in her. Forget it. <laughs> Peppy, sometimes when you get angry with me, well, it's all right, I understand. You're a fine girl, Inez. Remember last year at the festival, how he sang and danced? Let's do it again tonight. I won't be here. Where are you going? I'm leaving. You're leaving the Casbah? Yes. Why? It's that woman. Before she came, you never talked like that. Stop it, Inez. Don't you understand? Don't you see, Peppy? She came here to look at the zoo, at the monkey in the cage. She had nothing to do with it. There is no outside for you. Just me and the Casbah. You'll never get out. They'll get you. So they'll get me. Take me with you. It's too dangerous. I don't care. Take me with you. You think you can just get up and go? Well, I'll tell you when you go. When they carry you out, that's when. Go on, run to your woman. See how far you'll get. I'll never forget you, Inez. Peppy, I love you. Yes? Yes? He's leaving, eh? Don't worry, we'll be there. Come on, let's go. This way. God, look what's going on over here. Of course, uh, there are exceptions. Invalids, children, and travelers. They don't have to observe the fast. Mohammed must have been in favor of the tourist trade. Yes, uh, we all are.
we go this way, sir? We came back for the festival. Just for the festival? We are sailing in the morning and we didn't want to miss it. High up, you can see everything. How will I find my way back? Let me worry about that. But you won't. You're beginning to understand me. Are small from up here. What was written in the stars shall be. Those men in the white robes. It was written in the stars. What was written in the stars shall be. It was written in the skies that the heart and not the eye shall see. And so bring joy, whether it bring woe, it shall be done. Now suddenly I know you are the one. Here as in a daydream, by my side you stand. Here with my two minds. It was written high above that I'll have to have your love or I'll never be free. And cloudy though the day be, crazy though I may be, what the stars foretold. Thank you. 
monsieur, 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 monsieur. It's about time. Well, where is she? Please, you're looking at a very unhappy man. She's gone. What do you mean, gone? Gone. Just disappeared. If anything happened to her, I'll hold you responsible. I'll hold you responsible. That's your privilege, but please don't get excited. Just give me a few minutes. A few I... minutes? You've had an hour. So a few more minutes won't hurt. I have to find her. I don't know where she is. Could be anywhere. Could be with Pepe Lamoco. Yeah, I, don't... I don't believe that, Inspector. I didn't see she that's was. That's right. She's probably back at the yacht waiting for us. Come on. That's come. possible. If you permit me, my man is going to take you down. We'll manage. We'll manage. But please, what if something happens to you? No. Never mind. Inspector, I think you're cute. Huh? Light now. You'll order everybody around. Order it to stay dark for me. You can have a dark, a light, anything you want. Suppose I want rainbows. You can have rainbows. Suppose I want them every day. Uh-uh. Only on Sunday. What were you like as, as a little boy? I was skinny. Were you very clever? I was very angry. Why? Suppose I wanted all the things I couldn't have. I wanted things too. But in my town they had a strange notion. They insisted that you go to work. I had a job once. No. Yeah. Selling wine. Nobody liked the wine except me. So I drank up all the samples. <laughs> What did you do after that? Well, after that, I, I was very unhappy. Then one morning, I woke up with a great idea. Peppy, I said to myself... Peppy, you said to yourself, why be so unhappy? If you want things so badly, take them. How did you know? I had the same idea, but I wanted to be respectable. So now you've got everything you want. Mm-hmm. You know what I'd give to live outside the cars by the way you do? Lots of people live outside, on yachts, in mansions, only they don't call it the Casper. I must go now. Why? They'll sail without me. What if they do? You don't really want me to stay. You don't have to pretend. I'm not pretending. Please, don't make it difficult for me. Gabby. Gabby, wait. Don't go. It won't be long. I'll get out. But you can't. I can. We'll go to a little town outside of Paris. No one will know me there. <laughs> yes. I can just see you in a small town. Why not? You think I like this life so much I can't give it up? I've had enough of it, Gabby. Gabby, we can live like everybody else. You'll be bored. You want to go to Paris. We'll go to Paris and we'll see all the places I used to know. The cafes and the shops. Do you know the little square on top of Montmartre? Yeah, I used to eat there all the time. We could go to the Latin Quarter. <laughs> I must go now. Pick Down up. those steps. Well, what are you waiting for? You didn't understand. I came for a little adventure. It's light now. Fun's all over. And I have to go back. Nobody's keeping you. When we danced, you said we were after the same things, but my methods were different than yours. It's true. All right, it's true. Go on. I'll tell Claude I was lost. He'll be sorry. He'll buy me another bracelet. And that's what I want. Of course. That's what you want. Anyone can see that. I didn't think I'd ever feel this way. You can go, Gabby. Won't make any difference. I'll follow you. You wouldn't do that. It'd be foolish. The police would get you. I'll take that chance. When you think it over, you'll change your mind. I know you will. It's no use, Gabby. You might as well stay. 
I'll come back. When? Tonight. Promise? Yes. Yes, I promise. Tonight, Odette's eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Pepe, I... What's good about goodbye? What's fair about farewell? You know a broken heart can come from such a broken spell. Your love could bring eternal spring. Your kiss could be a magic thing. Your smile could be a shining light burning from day to day, more lovely from night to night. But if you should go away, our dream would go astray. Our song would be a sigh. Say you're mine forever. Say you're mine, but never say goodbye. Waiting for someone in it? Leave me alone. I won't. You look like you might get into trouble. You. You brought her in here, and I know why. I know how you feel. We both want Pepe more than anything on earth. I won't lose him, Slimane. Oh, but you will. Very soon. Very soon. Oh, here you are, madame. Here you are. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, Inspector. Oh, just think. It would have held me responsible. All your friends, they are so worried. Worried? They needn't worry anymore. Does that mean that you, that you sail with them? Yes, right away. Oh, that's good, that's good. Now, if you excuse me, madame, I, I have a cab waiting for you. Thank you. Right outside the gate. Madame? <laughs> I suppose it hurts, huh? Montmartre, Montparnasse, all over. Seven o'clock. Is it really? Where were you? Sir, I was lost. You expect me to believe that? Believe anything you like. We've got to settle this right now. All right, let's settle it. I think I've been pretty decent to you, Gabby. I took you out of that cheap little dress shop, put clothes on your back, furs, jewels, and... Cigarette for Claude. Gabby. Yes, Claude? We're going to sail out of here in about ten minutes. If you like the idea of the Cosma better than the prospect of a future with me, why don't you go back there? There's still time. What happened? 
Nothing. Oh, come on. It couldn't be that serious. Leave me alone, Madeline. Come on, Gabby, tell me. I told you nothing happened. I saw him again. He wanted me to stay, and I told him I'd come back. Are you crazy? Well, he threatened to follow me, and I had to say something. Oh, you lied to him. Yes. He won't follow me. Not with the police waiting for him. No, of course not. No man would do that, would he? Gabby, yeah, you're not in love with him. That's one luxury you can't afford. I know, you always said that. Yes, and I'm right. I know. Stop thinking about it. You'll forget him. Go up on deck and be nice to Claude. He'll get over it in a little while. He'll forgive you and everybody will be happy. And Gabby, you can have everything you've ever wanted. Thank you, Madeline. Gabby, I, I'm just... Uh... I'm not sailing, Claude. You're not? I'm going to accept your offer. What offer? To go back. Do you realize what you're doing? Yes, I'm giving up the prospect of a future with you. You won't leave, Gabby. Because if you do, you won't be taking anything with you. You'll go back just the way you came. And you won't do that, Gabby. You're too fond of those pretty little things I bought you, aren't you? Gabby, how will you live? I'll manage. Where will you go? Don't worry, to a hotel. I'll always remember you, Claude, for your great generosity. She's being much too noble, don't you think so, Claude? Thank you, Claude. I'll see that she gets these. Sit down, Slomane. No, I almost left the Cosby yesterday. Oh? <laughs> Where did you intend to go? Paris. What stopped you, Pippi? You. <laughs> you fixed it, and Paris came to me. She did, huh? <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. You want to see her again? I'm going to tonight. It's all arranged. I know it's all arranged. <laughs> I know it, though. It's, it's very amusing. Say, Slomane. How are you getting along with the commissioner? Oh, fine, fine. Don't worry about that, Pepe. We, we made a little deal. I promised to bring you in, and he promised to leave me alone. Should I be careful? Oh, he won't help you. You're going to walk right into the trap, and with your eyes wide open. <laughs> That's what's so funny. <laughs> That'd be very funny, wouldn't it? I suppose you've even set the time. Oh, I've set the hour. Why don't you give up, Slomane? I can't. You never had a chance before, and you don't have a chance now. But I can't, Pepe. I'm not Commissioner Louvre. Huh? He can make a mistake. He's a big man, but I'm a little man. One mistake, and too bad, Pepe. Don't feel so sad. You haven't caught me yet. That's fine. I'll save my tears for tonight. Huh? <laughs> Monsieur? You know, uh, be lonely here without you. Well... Carlo! Buy an Omar, bring him these. Tell him I want the cash. Right, Pepe. I want it tonight at Odette's at 8 o'clock. I wouldn't trust Omar, Pepe. Today I trust everybody. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in these narrow streets are to be found the outcasts of the world. Why do they come here? They come here! To avoid the law! But don't be afraid, ladies and gentlemen, as long as I'm with you. I'm... <coughs> it's a very nice suit. Very... I mean, Happy says to get cash. I understand that some of the ladies are interested to see a typical Moorish cafe. Bring it to Odette's at 8 o'clock. I will do this. I'll show you a typical Moorish cafe. Atenif, Atenif, Luz. Atenif, Atenif, Luz. Atenif. Better be right, Slamane. 
How could I be wrong? The yacht has sailed. The girl is on board. Pippi is waiting. How long can a man like Pippi wait? Not very long, sir. I checked the yacht. It sailed. You see? But the girl didn't sail with it. She went to the Hotel Oasis. Went to the Hotel Oasis? Well, Slimane, so he'll just come walking out, eh? This doesn't look so good, does it? No, it doesn't. Not at the moment. Come on. Good evening, my reserve general. Oh, hello, Inspector. Would you call the taxi, please? Are you in a hurry? Yes, I have an appointment. I'd like to talk to you, mademoiselle. But I am very Please, very... it won't take long, and don't consider me tactless, but don't go back to the Cosper. Please, don't ask any questions. Just return to Paris. I, I can get your reservation first thing in the morning, all right? Is that what you came to see me yes. about? Yes. Inspector, please, I Look, know what I'm doing. All I'm trying to do is to save you some grief and... Uh... Don't worry, Inspector. I promise to be very happy. All right, what if he isn't there? You expect me to believe that? Why should I lie to you? I don't know. Look, uh, Pepe, he met with a very bad accident. What happened? Tell me, please. Well, I guess you'll learn it anyway. Huh? He was stabbed. Some girl in this. Uh, no. I suppose it's jealousy. Well, in any case, he's dead. Actually, wait. Never mind, cancel it. I'm sorry. Don't forget your plane leaves at six in the morning. Want to see me, Pepe? Yeah, sit down. What's up? I can't understand why she isn't here yet. Don't worry, Pepe. She'll show up. And why Slimane is so sure of himself? What'd you say? Nothing. You're new around here, Carlo. They don't know you yet. I want you to go outside and find out what you can. She'll be here in a minute, Pepe. What's the matter? You afraid? Me afraid? Sure, I'll go. Go on. I never saw you so upset about a woman before. I don't get it. Go on, Carlo. You're wasting time. Leave it to me. Is everything all right, Pepe? Does a woman always have to be an hour late? It takes time to be beautiful. Yeah, I guess so. to bring me something at 8 o'clock. He can't come, Pepe. He was arrested. Oma? Yes, Pepe. This afternoon in front of the Hotel Oasis. Monsieur le Préfet, I don't understand it. I simply don't under... Excuse me, I can't talk when you hold me. I simply don't understand it. The whole town is teeming with thieves, cutthroats, murderers, all kinds of subjects. And who do the police pick up from all the people? Omar. <laughs> Omar the guy, the respectable man with a family. Oh, Commissioner, such a family. Where did you get these jewels? You should see my son, Adi, a little boy, three years old. He knows all the tricks in the world. You give him cars, uh, what jewels? These jewels right here. 
such jewels. I've never seen them in my life. They were found in your pocket. Beautiful. That must cost a fortune. This stone, for instance, I don't know if you understand. But whose pockets? You were carrying them for Pepe Lemoco. <laughs> you know how it is. I'm riding in, in overcrowded streetcars. I, I hang my coat in a, in a restaurant. Somebody dropped. Pepe Lemoco. That thief. That scoundrel. Oh, Commissioner, you are hurting me. You are offending me. I am a respectable man. I'm an honest man. With a you... family, yes. How do you know? We know. I'm tired of your lies, Omar. Send him in. I have a little surprise for you. We're not as stupid as you think. Oh, I didn't think you were stupid. We don't pick up people without good reason. I'm very happy to hear that. Excuse me, my, my wife is waiting for me. <laughs> Come in, Carlo. Sit down. Do you recognize this man? Oh. <laughs> and my word of honor, Commissioner, I have never seen him before in my life. He, his face is completely unfamiliar to me. I... Take your time. Take a good look. No, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I've never... I mean, I, I don't know who he is. Excuse me. Please, why not? Stop it, idiot. Are you crazy? Oh, wait, I'll pay you back, you, you snake, you informant. I'm sorry for the spit I spent on you. Take me with you. I'll kill you. Slimane, this is Carlo Ferron. He just came from Odette's. How do you do? It seems Lemoco is getting desperate. Yes, Pepe sent me out to look for the girl. Oh, oh you didn't know about Carlo. How do you do? What's the matter with you? Me? Nothing. Pepe. What's the matter? Why is it so quiet? Where is everybody? It's very late, Peppy. Who said it's late? Let's have some music. Julio, play something. What is this, a funeral? Let's hear some noise. That's what I came here for. Where are the girls, Odette? All right, Peppy. at the harbor this morning. What for? Oh, I like the sea air. They say it makes you beautiful. I saw a big white yacht today. 
I saw it sail away. <laughs> Told you to get out, didn't I? Everyone down at the harbor can tell you. The stevedores, the sailors, they all know. It sailed away, Peppy. She's gone. She's out there on the wide open sea with a sweetheart. And I hope they'll both be very happy. I found her, Peppy. I had to look all over for her, but I found her. Where? Hotel Oasis. Room 104. Why didn't she come up here? I don't know. She was crying so much. Tears running down her cheeks. You know how a woman is. Don't listen cries. to him, Peppy. It's a trick to catch you. He's lying. Can't you see he's lying? Let's go, Carl. How did you know she was there? That was easy. Who told you? Omar. He takes parties from the hotel up to the Casbah. He saw her there. When did you meet Omar? About an hour ago. I ran into him on the way down. It's in the Rue Claver, near the gate. Sit down, Carl. Don't you think we ought to go, Peppy? Sit down. You're a true friend, Carlo. Man's very lucky to have a friend like you. Have something to eat. Drink. No, thanks, Peppy. It's fine wine. Have some. I got a headache. It's just what you need for your headache. Here. Go on. Try it. Feel better, huh? Sure. Some caviar. Shame to waste it. I'm not hungry, Peppy. Eat. 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 Omar was arrested. This afternoon. You did it, Carlo. The truth, I'm waiting. The truth, Carlo, I'll kill you. This is my implant. Go on. The hotel's surrounded. They're waiting for you. She didn't leave on the yacht? No. Where is she? I told you, this is the hotel. The lie. No, I'm not used to the hotel. I tell Why didn't she come up here? Slomane told you you were killed. Oh. He, he made up the whole story. That's how I got her not to come up here. She's leaving for Paris by plane. Six o'clock. I didn't want to, Peppy. They made me. They promised me my freedom. You know what it is to be cooped up. They would kill me. We were brought up together. Don't kill me. Oh, I remember those times at Mother First Yours? Baby. Oh, they said I could go home. I, we brought up in the same town again. <laughs> Everything here is yours. Thank you, Peppy. I don't want it. Yeah, let someone else have it. All right. Well, I... I guess there's nothing left to say. 
Nothing. Come on, Inez. You know why I'm leaving. Yes, I know. Why don't you do something? Say something. Please cry. I never cry. Goodbye, Inez.
you went so when you are away.